Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. For today's video, I thought I would film an updated everyday makeup routine. I feel like I haven't filmed an updated everyday makeup routine in a year, I think it's been, so I thought I'd film one. My channel is pretty much all about makeup, beauty, lifestyle, and then every other video has Max in it. So a lot of the products have changed, which is why I thought I would do an updated one video. I will also be sort of giving a life update because a few things have changed in my life and I thought I'd chuck it into this video. I'm gonna stop rambling because this video doesn't need to be longer than I'm gonna end up making it. So I really hope you guys enjoy and if you wanna see how I got this makeup look, then just keep on watching. The first product that I've been using is the Simple it says triple protect moisture and it's got SPF in it. I have already applied this. Even if I don't wear makeup on some days, I still apply this. The foundation is completely changed. Using the Revolution in Real Life filter one, I think you can only get these in Super Drug. I could be wrong, but we don't sell them at my work. In the shade F6, so you don't need a lot with this. Anything that I don't like about this is that I feel like it goes, it is matte. It says breathable soft matte, but I feel like it makes my skin go really dry. I don't know if that's just my skin not liking it or anything, but I've just been finding that that's what happens with my skin. And I just, I've been using a, it's a friend's one, a beauty blender, just to blend it all out. If I have a bit extra, which I do, I take my beauty blender and I take the tip of it because I don't like to put concealer under my eyes. I don't know what it is, but I feel like it like budges the foundation, which obviously I don't want to do. This and I just put it under my eyes just to cover the bags under my eyes a bit better. Like a bit like Max when I'm she's in Stranger Things, then like my eyes like go all the way up. And the same on the other side. I try and use up the whole thing just so that I don't have to wipe too much product or but like put too much back in the bottle. So once that is all blended and all on my face, I then just take the Rimmel Stay Matte or something, just transparent, and then the same brush, this hasn't changed, but the same brush just to set it all in place. Try my best to pat it in rather than to like rub it around my face because I feel like that moves the foundation. I literally just pat it right on top. So now that my face is looking a bit flat and it's like one or one colour now, I use the Bobbi Brown, I have used this before, I've shown it on my channel before, and it's in the shade Golden Light 1. Then I use the Bedellium, I think it's the Bedellium, just this brag, so really really nice warm colour. I'm not a massive fan of cool contours, I don't think that they suit me. I just apply this just where the normal, where the normal sun, just where the sun would hit my face naturally around my face. I feel like I like to go quite light at first just because it's a lot easier to build up the colour rather than like try and take it off with powder, if that makes sense. And then I just blend it on my jawline. I forgot the name of that for a second. I do kind of where this bit and this bit are. So my like just below my temples. I like to just connect that just because I feel like if I just put it here, here and here it would just look a bit weird. Contour my nose properly just because I haven't really found a way that I like to do that yet. I hold the brush like this and then I really lightly just put the powder down the sides of my nose and then just like over the tip that I have. I don't know if this really does a lot but I prefer the way that my makeup looks when I do it. Moving on to blush, I got in Dublin and I absolutely love this. I'm so happy that this is the shade. It's in Dandelion. This is um, from Benefit but this is like the smaller one. It does come with a brush but I don't use this brush and then that's the shade I use is this one. I feel like this picks up a lot more product with blush. I blush absolutely everywhere. I feel like there's no rules with makeup anyways, but with blush, I don't tend to just stick it here to sort of drag it up. Just shapes my face a bit, I guess. Scoop it in like that, tap off a bit, and then smell slightly, but I stick more from here than I go up. That's why I think this brush works a lot better because it's like fluffier. So I just think it places the product better. Try and shape a bit. I'm loving this technique and this way of doing blush. I think it suits me a lot more. And then I just put it everywhere. Smile a little bit just so that I can find where I'm placing it. And then I kind of just put it basically where I put the contour. I have zoomed you in a bit because I'm going to do brows now. It looks like this works like this. It's just a brow gel. I really like these and I think I'm going to start using these like more often than I would use a pencil. And then I just apply this to my brows. My brows are really light and really thin. So I feel like I can get away with not putting as much product on them. 
that is literally all I do to my brows. It's not a like tough process. So my next step is to curl my lashes and then apply mascara. I believe it's taken me this long to get to this part of the video, but I graduated, which is quite fun. I graduated, I got a tutu from Solent University, which, you know, I honestly never even saw myself finishing uni at one point, so I'm quite quite proud of myself. I went, I graduated on the 12th of July, I think it was. So last, I think it was last Tuesday. Like my dress, everything, like my makeup, I did it all myself just because I didn't want to have to pay somebody out. You know, I got a degree in hair and makeup, I should be able to do my own makeup. So when I graduated from uni, I was already at my job and I pretty much went straight into full-time job as soon as I had basically finished uni, which was really, really fun. I work in the self-selection area of the boots, so I'm around makeup all the time, which is obviously ideal. Yeah, I just thought I'd add that in there. That's kind of like the life update. Really want to film a whole separate video of giving you a life update because those are the only ones I have. I did also mention at the start of the video that I went to a conference for my work. I went to Birmingham and it was amazing. I'd never been to a conference or Birmingham, so two quite big surprises. Finally got a few free samples from different brands, so the net that brings me on to the next thing. So this is the mascara that I've been using. I use the same lash color that I've been using for like the last 10 years. This is the one that I've been using at the moment. And I did very kindly get this in my little pack when I went to Birmingham. I have actually used this in my last updated makeup routine. This is one that I use. I absolutely love this one. It's in the shade black mascara as well. And it's got just like that. I really like these. I feel like they're the best for my lashes. I can't do mascara on camera because I pull weird faces and I feel like it's just really hard to concentrate. So. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my lashes and then I will be back. Okay, so now that the mascara is done, the face is done, everything is done, just time for the lip. The Charlotte Tilbury uh, lip cheat in the shade. It's called Super Size Me, I think. It looks like this. I need to go sharpen it. And then once they're lined, they look a bit crazy right now. Once they're lined, I use this to fill them in as well. That is all I do for my lips. That is all I do for my makeup. The lip color changes and sometimes I'll change the mascara, but usually this has been what's on my face for the last few months. I really, really like it. I think it's just quite, it doesn't even look like I'm wearing much makeup on camera, I feel like. So that is it for my everyday makeup routine. I thought I would just share it since I hadn't filmed a makeup video in a really long time. I'll leave all the products down below in case you're interested in what they are and then I'll put my shades in case you want to know the shade that I am for them. That for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I will try and be a bit more consistent. I feel like I'm a bit quieter in this video because I'm a bit shy because I haven't filmed in so long. But um, if you did enjoy this, then like I said, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!